Welcome to your Capricorn. Big welcome. This is your tarot reading for 2023. Yes, for the entire year of 2023. And it's coming to you from the mountains of Java. And I really hope you get something useful form from this Capricorn. I sincerely do. Hmm, Capricorn. Can't say it looks like a nice reading. It's about love, in particular a broken heart. You see that middle card, three, three swords through that heart. So that, that is a broken heart for sure. You started off, I think, quite positive, knowing where you... Well, this is in the past, though. But knowing where you were going, knowing what you were doing, quite fearless. Uh, yeah, got your ducks in a row. And then, on currently, something happened. You got some information that made you begin to see things a little bit differently. And things started to change. Then we have the two of two of uh, pentacles in the future. That's you struggling a little, struggling to do all that you have to do. You probably succeed, but nevertheless, you're, you're going to find things a little bit difficult. I think it's sort of work business wise. Uh, the energy impacting on the outcome is the Queen of Swords. A firm but fair queen, a nice queen, but a queen that puts up boundaries. Why are you putting up boundaries? And how does that relate to that broken heart? Um, what would change the outcome is the nine of cups. Now that's someone who's blessed with many things, blessed with many luxuries, but they're by themselves. I wonder if it's saying that you'd be better off by yourself given this broken heart and now we have the the outcome is the two of swords you have an important decision to make but you don't feel that you've got the information you need in order to make it so a very very interesting spread i think there's some warnings in it maybe it's not quite as bad as i first thought but i mean it's certainly not a great spread if this is having resonance with you, please stick with me because I'm going to try and find out more about it for you. And if it is, if you can hit the like button, if you can make a comment. But also maybe if you can subscribe and hit the bell so you get future notifications. Because these little things help me incredibly. They really do, Capricorn. So I'd like to thank you in anticipation of doing those little things for me. Thank you very much. You may well be asking, why from Java? What's important about tarot from Java? And the truth is, there is nothing so important about tarot from Java. Simply that here in Java, we have many different spirits who will come to help in, in your tarot reading. It'll probably put a different reflection on things. For example, the spirits here are less likely to be concerned about love and finances, despite people in Java being every bit as interested in these things as the rest of us. But maybe the spirits are trying to tell us something else. Now I'll be using probably two decks, but out of three decks. So the first deck is Taro Nusantara. The second deck is the Steampunk deck. And the third deck is the Light Visions Tarot. Um, tarot Nusantara is actually a new one to me, which, which I love. Whereas the Light Visions, um, I've struggled with uh, as a result of the rendering. Um, although I, I think I'll grow into it, I, I will keep using it and coming back to it. You can see on all of them, I'm using quite a lot of uh, salt and that's to clear the energy and the spirits from them. Something that I do fairly regularly with my tarot. And I also, you'll see a number of Jim app there that I use. Um, 
just to bring a good energy to the tarot um, and to my reading. Perhaps the most important mystical object we use in Java is the Chris, the curly knife that you can see that I've placed across both decks. Chris are very important for bringing the spirits to work on any object here in Java. I call on the spirits of the mountain to assist me in shuffling the cards, in picking the right cards and interpret them correctly for Capricorn for the year of 2023. So yeah, the energy that impacts on everything. So runs throughout the entire reading is this Three of Swords. And it is the card of a broken heart. I mean, you look at it, you know, there's no denying it is that there's a heart there with three swords through it. So, you know, it's a broken heart. Now, it's a minor arcana, which means that it doesn't necessarily last. But of course, this is going throughout probably the entire year, 2023. It's dominating your thinking. And, you know, I know you're saying, you can say that glibly. If ever you've had a broken heart, it can last forever. Well, you know, yeah, I certainly had one that lasted 30 odd years, over 30 years, you know, so I do understand, but generally speaking, these things don't last, generally speaking, you get over them. Um, what, what more can I say about it? Because we need to find out why you've got a broken heart, but it's running through everything. It does impact on everything, yeah. Now, in your recent past, we have the Knight of Swords. He's brave, he's fearless. He's quick, sometimes a little bit too quick. But what it's suggesting to me is that in your past, you knew what you were doing, you had a sense of direction, you knew where you were going. You were quite sure of yourself, maybe a little bit too sure of yourself. I mean, you look at the card, I mean, it, it does have this sort of pace about it, doesn't it? He's got his sword drawn. So he is fearless. But does he rush into things that maybe he shouldn't? I mean, it's not as bad as the Knight of, of uh, Wands, uh, because he rushes in the same way, but carrying a stick, you know. So it's not that you're not necessarily unable to deal with it but maybe you do get yourself into situations and I think this is one such situation and your current energy is that of the page of swords so we've gone down from a knight to a page and normally that is somewhat worrying um, however, if you hear what the two are, then you say, well, well, no, there is, you know, when, when you know what the two are about, maybe it's not so worrying. And then when you think again, you think, well, maybe it is. Because the Page of Swords is you going out in search of information, maybe even gaining some new information about something. But going out and looking for something, starting to, to try and understand something, uncover something. You look at him, I mean, he's also fearless, you see. Uh, but he's not on a horse, so it's not so quick, is it? So it's something that's going to come to him. So remembering this is about a broken heart, I think this is information that leads to the broken heart. So before you, you know, you, you, you felt very sure of yourself, you knew where you were going, you, you felt comfortable in your relationships. And I think now you're beginning to have some doubts about them. In the light of some information that's coming to you, that's what I think happens, and that causes the broken heart. In the future, you are struggling a bit, struggling to cope with everything that you've got to do. Now, normally I'd associate this with work. It's sort of a work-life balance thing. You, you, you're finding it difficult to earn the money um, and to have something of a life you know you may be working all the hours that God sent and you know you look at the card well he's walking along the seashore and I, I don't know about you I always find that difficult at the best of times you know um, walking along the seashore but he's also juggling at the same time 
So it would be a very difficult thing to do, wouldn't it? Very difficult. It doesn't mean to say you don't succeed, um, but it's a bit of a struggle. Now, why are you getting this bit of a struggle? Well, remember there's a broken heart. So I think a relationship comes to an end as a result of some information that you get. So therefore, you're probably now by yourself. And, you know, maybe you've got the same commitments you had when there were two wages coming in and now there's only one. Maybe that's it. Or maybe it's just simply, you know, the rearrangements you have to do as a result of splitting up with someone. You know, my mother's just died and, and everyone's going, oh, I, I'm sorry for you. You know, well, she was 92. She was 92, you know. It hasn't been a big... It hasn't been a big heartbreak for me. In fact, my mother was, to be honest with you, she was a covert narcissist. I feel quite a sense of relief to be, if anything. But the amount of work I've had to do, you know, in getting a house clearance, in putting a house on the market, and then trying to coordinate all this from the other side of the world, you know. So if you do split up, you know, you do have this enormous extra burden that you might be struggling with. Now the energy that impacts on the outcome is the Queen of Swords. And I, I said in the introduction that I thought it was about you putting up boundaries and bar barriers. And I'm not too certain it is. You see, she's a firm but fair queen. So, you know, I'm, I'm not certain this is a divorce. It doesn't, I mean, it, it, there's no mention of families here. Uh, so I'm not certain you were married. I mean, you might have been, you know, but it's certainly something that you loved very deeply. And, you know, you are struggling a bit just to cope with the fact that you're now alone, as it were. And I think this is about you being firm but fair with them. So in other words, you know, you know when they come round and they've got... Um, have you got my... Um, have you got my Adele CD? You know, all of this sort of stuff. And, you know, oh, well, I bought that when we were on holiday, when we was on our holidays in Majorca, you know. It, it's that type of thing that goes on. And, and I think it's telling you to be firm but fair with it. I think that's all it is. I might be wrong. You know, you look at the Queen. I mean, she's a lovely Queen. She is. But she's got that bloody big sword held up like that. You don't mess with this Queen. And I think you have to be a bit like this in this, what I perceive to be a, a breakup. Now, what would change the outcome is the Nine of Cups. Now, this is actually a card of many blessings. Loads of loads of blessings, you know. Um, You've got a lot. You've got an awful lot to be thankful for. You look at the card. There he is dressed beautifully, sitting on that wonderful throne. All those cups above him. So he's, he's very happy. Very happy. But can you notice anything about him? Well, he's by himself. And I think, you know, given that I'm pretty certain this is all about the breakup of a relationship, this is saying maybe if you could consider being by yourself and counting your blessings, at least for now, maybe you'd be happier. That's what it feels like to me. Now, I can't be sure, you know, we're going to need some clarity, but it's feeling very much like that to me, that it's a warning saying, don't rush into things. See, the outcome is the Two of Swords, and it is you about having to take a difficult decision. Having to take a difficult decision without really feeling capable of doing so, without feeling like you've got all the information. You look at the card, why hasn't he got all the information? Well, he's blindfolded. <laughs> you know, he's got to choose between these two swords. They look identical. How could you choose when you're blindfolded and it's in the moonlight? So the first thing to do is take off the blindfold, isn't it? And when you do so, if you look behind you, you'll see the tides coming in. So you better move bloody quickly, you know, you better take a decision because you've got to get on with things, you know. It's one of those situations. Now, I think your decision is, it could be, do you go back? Do you take back the person? 
that you've been with or do you stay single you know I, I think it's about that and you've got a broken heart and you know when you've got a broken heart the thing you want most is to put put the clock back but you can never put the clock back you can never put the clock back now before I say too much what I want to do is I want to get some clarity on this um, I do have my views about what's going on but I want some clarity Now, for these 2023 spreads, I've often been seeking clarity on the theme card, the central card. And yours is no exception. And I think the reason I've been doing it is that because it spreads through a year, it's essential we really understand what it is that's going on throughout this year. However, I think in, in your particular case, I, I wasn't really faced with big alternatives. This was the card that we really did need the clarity on. The first card is the Queen of Cups, a very loving Queen, but also a very intuitive Queen. The next card is the Two of, Two of Swords, again, important decisions to make, important decisions to make. And the final card is the Two of Cups, a divine love, a wonderful love, but could well be a new love. Could well be a new love. Mm. First card of clarity is this Queen of Cups. Now she really is a lovely queen. She really is. She's she's loving. She's loving. Above all, she's loving. She's loving and people love her because she's so loving. She's at more or less in tune with her emotions. And in tune with the emotions of others. She cares deeply about other people, maybe too much. I think people see her empathy as a sign of weakness. And she does maybe get taken for granted, even abused as a result of it. And I think that's what's happened to you in this relationship. You look at it, well she does look really loving, doesn't she? But I would say in this, she's dressed in a military uniform. Now I don't, well no, it was in this reading, wasn't it? I mentioned to you that my mum was this covert narcissist, you know, and I've, I've, I'm an empath. And I've got all my life in the shadow of my mother. And don't get me wrong, I loved my mother. I, I mean, well, still do, even though she's dead, you know? Loved my mother, but, she, she, I've been abused, not, not in a bad way, you know, but I've been abused, you know. As it transpired be, before she died, she bad-mouthed me. Well, she told outright lies about me to my only other relatives. So everybody back in the UK hates me because they think I'm such a bad person. And it's completely untrue. And I, I've realised she's been doing the same to my dad who, who died three years previously and so I never had as good a relationship with my dad as I should because she'd been poisoning my dad to me and me to my dad and it's this sort of thing that's happened to you you know you're too nice a person and you've you've been let down but the truth is look you're in that military uniform so just like me you know you take so much but actually actually there is a tough side to you so just like me saying that I feel a relief of my mother dying, you're a bit like that. You do know. You do know what's going on. And you let people get away with things, but it doesn't mean to say you don't understand. And that was my relationship with my mum. And... We've now got a two of swords, so it's this decision you've got to make again, and you feel blindfolded in order to take the decision. Which way do you go? And I think the which way do you go is, do you stick with this person who's abused you in some way? I'm going to come to how they've abused you. Or do you say, well, I'm better off for now by myself. And I think you are better off for yourself. But, but you're blindfolded again, you know, you walk in a tightrope. There's the moon, you've got fear, you've got fear of the unknown. And I'm going to go back to tell you about my mum. And that is, you know, as I say, she'd, she'd lied to my 
other relatives in the UK about me. I mean, what she said was that I never phoned her. Um, now, I, I hadn't been to see her in three years because I hadn't been allowed out of Indonesia, but she said I never phoned her and I used to phone her every week. But she'd also said the same thing about those relatives to me. They never went round to see her and never called her and apparently they did so regularly. So, I mean, I did the eulogy. I'm a good speaker. I did the eulogy at a funeral and I could have said, look, it's like this. This is what's happened. My mum's been lying to you. And I could have done that. But the decision I took, and you know, it's a decision like this that you've got to take, was no, I'll not see these relatives again. Why don't I let them go with having a good image of my mother and hating me? You know, isn't it better that I do it that way? So I chose to keep my tongue. And at the wake, they didn't speak to me, you know, and it was, it was a very embarrassing, very difficult time for me. That I'm probably still getting over, but I'm sure I've done the right thing. And you've got a difficult decision like that, a very difficult. Um, it is, do you stay with this person or not? Well, it would help to find out what they'd done, wouldn't it? So we'll move on to the next card. Have you got there yet? Have you guessed what it's all about? Because we've got the two of cups here. Divine love. Could be a new love. Yeah. They've been cheating. Uh, they've been cheating on you. And they believe that they found somebody that's more compatible with them than you are. And that's why they've been cheating. Now, I don't know if they have or not, you know, but there is the possibility they have found somebody that is more suited to them than you. Uh, but my advice to you is, no, get out. Don't take them back. Don't take them back, whatever they say. That's my advice to you. Only from the cards. Uh, you look at it, there is something divine about this love, or at least that's what they think it is. That's what they think it is, you know. This yin and yang. It's as though this person they've met seems to be a better match than you. And if they feel that way, well, let them get on with it, you know. There is no point in you trying to keep them, even though they might be begging you to keep them. And as we've said, there's going to be struggles for you, struggles ahead, but you're better off by yourself. That's what all the cards seem to be saying. So, I think we can summarise for you now. Oh dear Capricorn, 2023 isn't going to be a happy time for you, but it's, it's necessary. It's, these things, you know, it's all about learning and that's what we have to do. You began 2023 or before 2023, you had a clear sense of direction, a clear sense of purpose. You were somewhat fearless, you were moving quite fast, maybe rushing into things a little. And some information comes to you. Some information that completely rocks you. And that's some information about the one you love, your partner. I don't think you're in a family, I don't, well, you might be married, but I don't think you've got children because there's no mention of it. But you, you might have. But what is this information that comes to you about your partner? Well, they're cheating on you. They're cheating on you with someone that they believe is more compatible to them than you. Nevertheless, I believe they're going to beg you to keep them. Beg you to keep them. Uh, but I don't think you do. You're firm but fair with them. Oh, sorry, you might do. You're being firm but fair with them. And the truth is you're finding it a bit of a struggle. Because if you, you know, if you were sharing bills, etc., you're now finding that a bit of a struggle. But I think you're just also finding it a bit of struggle for you to carry on with your life and deal with these emotional pressures. So you're juggling a bit. You're going to get through it. You are Sagittarius. You're going to get through it and you're juggling a bit. But you've got some important decisions to make. And those decisions are, do you take them back or... <clears throat> I do get the impression they left somehow, you know. Or maybe you never lived together, but you were splitting some sort of bills. I think, I think. Um, but do you take them back? Or do you say, I'm better off by myself? And there's every indication in this reading that you're better off by yourself, Sagittarius. There really is. I'm not certain that 
you follow that advice, but you are. You're blessed with many things. And you know, you're a, you're a, you're a nice person. You're a very good person, very loving person. A very caring person, an empathetic person, but you do learn, you do learn to be firm but fair, which is a good thing. But I think in this particular circumstance, the universe is trying to tell you, well, it's irresolvable. You're better off by yourself, you really are. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, Capricorn, but that, that is what's in the cards. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed Tarot from Java as an addition to my channel, The Magic of Java. Please take a look at the other, the other uh, videos that I have on this channel about magic from Java. And I hope that you will be, become a subscriber. Now, if you want to find, hear your next Tarot reading, hit the button and that will inform you of when I publish new, um, new readings. I'm certainly going to do a reading for every month, but maybe I will try them a bit more frequently, say a mid-month reading, and maybe also some special readings. But above all, thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you, and enjoy Java. <laughs>